So what I have here is a Microsoft Service Pro 2 running Ubuntu 14.04. It's working with Wi-Fi and working with Type Cover 2. So that's pretty good. Um, I did this to see if this could be done. Um, unfortunately, it didn't install correctly. Unfortunately, it did not work like this out of the box. I had to uh, do some searching on the Ubuntu forums. Obviously, I'm not the one who got it working right completely. Uh, I found driver instructions posted by others. Also, this is running a custom kernel to be able to get the type cover to, to work, written by someone else. So that's unfortunate, but other than that, the system works and is relatively stable. Um, so let's have a look. Okay, the first thing that the first thing I noticed was that the touch screen is actually very responsive and works a lot better than you might think. Uh, as you can see, I can touch here in the help center, and this works. Um, let's see, I can touch this icon, and it brings up LibreOffice. There's your uh, touch uh, touch screen keyboard. Very, very responsive. No, really, really no problems with it. Let's check the desktop. Desktop actually supports drag. You can drag icons very smoothly. Um, I am kind of, I, one problem with the desktop is that at this point that you can't seem to get a right click here. Where you would be able to with the touch cover too. But I guess it's just something you have to live with. Um, let's just do some other things. Firefox. Again, Firefox is working. And this is proof of Wi-Fi. Or, oh, this is a this is a video test. Here's a pretty much I guess the benchmark when it comes to video. Big Buck Bunny playing. There's no lag, as you can see. This doesn't have flash. This is playing with HTML5 and um, the WebM. You know, very impressive. As you can see, there's no dropped frames. It's playing in um, 1080p resolution. And everything is working smoothly in this department. Let's take a look at... I'll just go ahead and close this off. Um, the other obvious things, things that are lesser obvious work. Battery is fine. The uh, here, here's the Wi-Fi networks. Wi-Fi network list works okay. Um, when you install, when you set up the on-screen keyboard for this, I, I found that to be very. I have it set to always show when hitting X. If you don't have X, then it won't show up at all. When you when I can play the video, it's going to enter when the keyboard is always soft and keep your finger, then it won't show up. That's that's very, very key to all of this stuff. Obviously. Um, the other thing you need to do is uh, these are important, make sure the frame rate size match. And um, you might have to play with the positioning of it because unfortunately, even though it's a single finger, to always dock to the edge to an edge, don't use it because it doesn't work right. Because otherwise, you end up with something that looks um, hideously shrunk. On the bottom. I don't know whether that's because of this program or because of the scaling. That is one thing that you might notice on this screen is that the scaling, the scaling is, uh, it's not upscaled. I changed the resolution a little bit, I think. 
me see something. Display. Now, okay, I changed the scale to 1.25 in the display settings, but even so, it's still not the same as it used to be. So that definitely do that, or else things things will be even smaller. Uh, I really think that it, it, it would be nice if there was an option to fix the DPI scaling to be more like Windows. Unfortunately, that doesn't exist right now, or there was nowhere that I could find it anyway. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually using the the uh, Wacom stylus with this, and so to, to my surprise, it works quite well for navigation. Uh, as you can see, it's got palm. It, it is successfully rejecting my palm here. I guess that's a feature of the firmware, and not so much the software on Windows. But uh, yeah, this is this is definitely better than having to deal with a capacitive stylus. When I try to use the stylus in paint. I was less than impressed, even though I understand paint, no one uses it for actual note taking or anything else. I don't I don't know any good note taking apps for um, Ubuntu. But here's an example if I could just get this to resize. Oh wait, I just got it. Yeah, this 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 just actually is not testing. But I'll just write a little bit just like just like you can see. Um, for some reason when I'm putting my hand here, it's popping up something I don't want it to. Uh let's see. J well, as you can see, it, it's it's drawing. There's no pressure test sensitivity in this program, but it is allowing me to draw. Oh, uh, now I'm able to make this a little bit bigger. And that's sort of an image of what the handwriting Looks like that's very hard to see, unfortunately. I am personally not impressed with the with the uh, the stylus, but it's still pretty usable. Like here, I'm in Excel. I can grab the um, grab the cells. It does it does miss that it does miss that feature where you can hold and right click. Hold down to right click from Windows, which is a, which is a real uh, shame, but it's better than nothing. You got your word. I wanted to show. Oh, here's here's a here's the here's a very common question: is does the uh, and this would be key for me if I were going to buy this. Does a pair of earbuds work, or does the headphone jack work? And the answer is yes. And I will prove it to you right now that it does work. There we go. Go to sound settings. There we go. If you can see that, it says headphones built in audio. And I can and I promise you it works just fine. There's also no static or anything. Um this is what it looks like when you put it to sleep or to or it says would you like to suspend? It's not a cert it's not a service is suspended. Turn it back on. 
And here we go. I came back from suspension. Alright, there we go. Oh, it looks like when you go into suspension, you can get really nice weapons. And there we go, we're back online. So, as you can see, it, it pretty much comes out, no problem. So, that's the Surface Pro 2 with Ubuntu 14.04, everybody. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm probably going to make a tutorial on how to get this set up because it's it's not e exactly easy, and it definitely takes some time. But once you got it, you're good to go. Service Pro with Ubuntu.